since I posted on YouTube. Sorry for the hiatus. I don't know what happened. Burnout, life, whatever it be, I am back and I am here with a haul and a spooky unboxing on Spirit Halloween. So over the last two years, I'm not going to get too into it, but you know, creator burnout is real, especially when I put everything out on Instagram. However, I've still been doing the spooky trip, spooky travel, so I have two years worth of content that I haven't edited and put out there for you. So soon, you're going to get a lot of spooky vlogs and things to do in New Orleans, things to do in Salem, ghost hunting. I even investigated The Conjuring House in Rhode Island. So I've got a lot of content to show you. But for now, today is July 2nd, and I have done my first Halloween hunt. That is at none other than Cracker Barrel. So before I get into the Cracker Barrel side of things, I want to go ahead and show you what Spirit Halloween has graciously sent me in the mail. And you know, I've seen a few creators get this in the mail, but I have not watched their videos on purpose so I can be surprised because you know, I don't know what this is and I can't wait to open it. So we're gonna get into that right now. First things first. Okay, so we have got a letter and a little shovel with some of this greenery. Oh, I'm interested, okay. Let's take this off. This little cryptic letter. What is this? All right. Let's go ahead and open this. I want to use this to open it. Yes. Harder than it looks, guys. Dig in. Spirit Hollow Cemetery. Share with your fellow residents. Okay, okay. So, let's see what this is all about. You know, I'm gonna attempt to not get dirt. Okay. All right, we've got a little coffin. Looks like I'm gonna... Oh my God, first of all. Y'all, it's kinetic sand. Can you see that? Is this an ASMR video? First things first, get this bad boy out of here. Oh. So we've got a spirit coffin. Oh. Oh my God. It's one of their little animatronic guys. Oh, it's a magnet. Very cool. This is a very cool PR experience. I mean, look how visually pleasing it is. It's interactive. I love that. I love it. And I want to just play with this kinetic sand forever. Well, that is fun. Thank you so much, Spirit Halloween, for sending me this fun little guy. I'm going to include a little picture of him from the website. Look, and I've got dirt in my nails. And you know what? This is what Halloween magic is all about. I love that they are bringing back that creativity and fun to that Halloween nostalgia. All right, now we're going to head to Cracker Barrel. I thought I would try my luck at home goods. Uh, absolutely zero. All 4th of July, summer, spring fun times. Nothing, nothing even resembling Halloween. So now I'm on my way to Cracker Barrel where I know for a fact that there's stuff there. So at least I know it's going to be a winner this one. Let's go. So this is the display right when you walk into Cracker Barrel and they kill it every time with the displays. It's so aesthetically pleasing every single time. I really liked these candles, like the little pearls in there. That's wax. They didn't have a scent though, which I thought was a little strange. This lantern, I wish so bad that it was turned on because I'm sure it's really cool at night. This is another angle of display and do you see what's peeking out? That's it, that's that lantern that everyone went crazy over.
And I saw a lot of cute accessories this year. I really wanted to get these, but they were kind of heavy, and that just sounds painful. Another light post. That one has a dragon. They're not on, unfortunately. These are these little vintage blow molds. I really liked those, and they had a cute little Scooby things. They have that Christmas tree. That was pricey though, about 159 and it didn't come with any of the ornaments. I did like this little mini lantern ornament though. And something that I've noticed this year, I don't know if it's like this every year and I've just never noticed, but there was a lot of like snow globe type things, like light up snow globe. I liked these little salt and pepper shakers, and there was also little mini ones that you could buy that are not in a set. So you know that it's hard to not go crazy during the first Halloween haul of the season, you know? So I have learned, just pace yourself. Just pace yourself and don't get everything all at once because you might regret it. So I did get some things that I felt like I would use throughout the year, you know, instead of just sitting on a shelf somewhere, I don't want to go too crazy too soon. So here is what I got in this little magic grab bag from Cracker Barrel. All right, I got, okay. This was the first thing to catch my eye when I got to Cracker Barrel. Let's see if I can even find the run. Gone Batty. You know, I've got like a nine to five kind of desk job. So I always am looking for a nice creative cup and I know I have thousands. And my mom always says, you need to get rid of some of those cups, stop buying those cups. However, this is big and this is intense. I think it's a great buy. Stainless steel, got the nice little lid sippy cup thing, but also gone baddie. That's so cute. This is definitely one of those all year staples you can just Keep it all the time. The other thing that I got, I got two of them because I've never really seen something like this. And you know what? Cracker Barrel had some very vintage looking items, which I appreciated. Like those, like the blow molds that you saw. Oh my God. I had to stop myself because there's just something about that nostalgic nineties Halloween that just gets me. I'm a nineties baby, 96 baby right here. So I got these little kitchen napkins. Okay. So they, how they work is they go on like this, you just clip on your thing, but also they've got little bodies. I thought they were so cute. And I got one for me and my boyfriend, even though it's a little girly, you know, who cares? He's gonna have this at his house. But I really liked these. These were $7.99 and they're just, they're so cute. I've been getting a bunch of cat themed stuff recently. Because, you know, I have my black and my orange cat, Poe and Sam. Also, this was $16.99. So, altogether, not bad. I didn't blow the bank for my first Halloween haul, which is, I think that's a win in my book, honestly. I'm so ready. I think the most thing that I am ready for, probably, honestly, Home Depot. If you've seen my Home Depot video, I am a Home Depot girly. And we talked about how I didn't film, you know, for two years. Last year was a really weird place for me mentally. I have just soared past where I was then and I was just in a weird space and I wasn't feeling that spark with Halloween, you know what I mean? And it sucked so bad. I kept thinking, what's wrong with me? Like, what's going on? I've always loved this. I didn't even put up my 12 foot skeleton. I was in like a bad slump. Not to mention here in the New Orleans area when it's like over a hundred degrees all the time and humidity. It's hard, it's hard. So last year was just a weird little blip for me and I am back and I feel great. And so I can't wait to decorate. I can't wait to get to Home Depot and get more decorations because they just have the best outdoor area. And I can't wait to show you my outdoor because I have a whole cemetery. I've got that 12 foot skeleton, you know. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a great year for Halloween and I can't wait to share it with you. 
My name is Dixie, aka Witch Void, and I am so happy to be back, and I hope that you stay tuned for what's to come.